Hello, welcome to my first YouTube video. This video is going to be all about the travel system that I chose, the Cannes Esco travel system. Um, I'm going to talk about what's good about it, what could be better, why we chose this particular travel system and really what was important for us, what we were looking for in a travel system and um, to hopefully help you guys choose something that's right for you and your family. Um, I guess I'll start by introducing myself. So I'm Ashlyn. I am uh, half English, half Irish. I'm married to a Turkish man, Murat, and we currently live in Istanbul. Um, we've been married for nearly two years now and we're expecting a little baby girl in December 2022. So I trained as a primary school teacher um, and yeah this channel is going to be all about sharing my parenting journey, sharing kids activities, sharing all things to do with babies, kids basically. So yeah let's get into the video. So we chose the Cannes Esco travel system. So firstly what we were looking for in a pushchair travel system buggy. Um, we wanted the option for the buggy to lie flat so some pushchairs will say they lie flat but actually just because it says they lie flat that doesn't necessarily mean they are in that 180 degree position. I think it's something like they can say it lies flat if it's at 150 degrees or something so that's something to look out for. Um, we were looking for a travel system that laid completely flat so that for the first six months of her life that would be the position she would be and that's what's recommended. Um, so that was quite tricky to find but we did manage to find one. Um, the car seat does attach onto the pushchair base. Um, I guess that's for convenience if you're just popping out quickly for a five minute shop and you want to attach your baby on without waking them I guess that's fine and um, but from my research it said online that the baby shouldn't be in its car seat for longer than two hours I guess I think it's the position the baby's in it's just not healthy for them not good for their breathing and um, so yeah that's the first thing we were looking for is that a buggy that lies completely flat so that it was as safe as possible um secondly we live in Istanbul sometimes the pavements can be a little bit tricky so we wanted something with big wheels something with i think it's called suspension where it's like springy so that it's not the journey is a smoother journey for the baby um yeah those were our two main points that we were looking for and then the rest we were going to see when we were looking at buggies what we liked what we didn't like so we went with the cans esco and some positives i've got a list so i don't forget some positives about it is it has the reversible seat so when the baby's young the baby can be facing me I can keep an eye on her the whole time but when she's older and she wants to look out at the world it's so easy you literally just push the buttons in unattach the um, the seat to the base and turn it around and reattach it so that's dead easy to do something that was really important to us the second thing is that it lays completely flat like I said so um, although we have the option to attach the car seat to the um, base of the pram um, I can't see us using that very much but it does do it if that's something you're looking for um, yeah that was a second thing just it has that option if you want it but it also lays completely flat and um, easy to steer so <laughs> I don't know, in the shops you obviously push around the push chair to see how easy it is. Um, and yeah, it was just dead easy. I checked the wheels, the wheels were big, so I knew, you know, when you're pushing it in the shop, all the push chairs are gonna kind of feel easy to push. But when you're pushing it out on the street, that's when challenges arise. Um, so yeah, I looked for big wheels um, and then checked that it was easy to turn and everything. And yeah, really, really easy, really happy with it. So as well as the big wheels, the pushchair has these springs um, and that is to basically make the ride as smooth as possible for the baby so you don't wake them up when they're sleeping in there, when you're going over bumpy roads and things like that. And um, another thing we liked about it is that it turns into a seat. So it lies flat for the first six months. After that you can turn the um, chair completely around and put it into that sitting position for the toddler age group. This just shows that it's a long-lasting thing. You haven't got 
a separate laying flat system and then a separate seat that attaches and it just takes up room when you haven't got much storage um yeah it's just an all-in-one lies flat then you can flip it around turn it into a seat and it's good to go for a toddler the other thing was the straps so the straps just looked secure they looked long lasting they're safe some of the other push chairs we were looking at some of the straps just looked to me like they wouldn't last very long and obviously then if the strap breaks the whole buggy can't be used so yeah really look out for what kind of straps your push chair has um, this one seems to be a good one. Another thing is that the push chair folds down really easily. You just push one button and it folds down. Um, you can make it so small as well. We were really impressed by that. You can remove the seat part of the buggy and fold the wheels, the base down really, really small. The wheels then detach as well. Let's say if you're going on holiday and you've got a lot of things in the boot. Um, you can then at unattach the wheels as well, which was fantastic. So yeah, really tight and compact, fits in the boot easily, um, and yeah, easy to fold down. So that was um, another positive. It also comes with a blanket type thing that you attach with a zip um, to keep the baby warm in winter. Our baby's going to be a winter baby, so that was a really important factor for us. Um, the car seat that came with it, the Cairns car seat, um, is in line with the EU safety standards, which obviously that is the number one thing you're looking for in a car seat is that it's safe. So it's in line with the EU safety standards. I feel happy with that. A car seat is really lightweight. It attaches to the push chair, like I said, if that's something you're looking for. Um, so yeah, happy with it. Some of the things that could be better, I had to really think of these ones because I am happy with the pram. Um, one, the colour. So the Cans Esco came in two colours. It was a light grey that we bought and a darker grey. Um, I preferred the look of the light grey, but I wanted the darker grey just because I thought if it gets a little bit dirty, you can clean it easier, it will be longer lasting. Um, but we accidentally ordered the wrong colour. So yeah, it does come in a darker colour. And if you are going for this pram or even if you're going for another pram, um, I would recommend going for a darker colour, just so it's easy to clean. Um, the basket underneath looks a little bit on the smaller side. I don't know until I've tried it out with, with a baby. I don't know. Like It seems fine. It's got a zip on it so it closes if it's raining and things like that. So it seems fine. It seems big enough. I just think it could be a little bit bigger. Um, so we'll see how I get on with that. Um, and then the last con that I could kind of come up with is just, sorry, I keep looking over here because the pram is there. So I'm looking at it as I'm talking about it. Um, but yeah, the last thing that I thought could be a little bit better is the um, sun hood. I feel like it could extend just like one more notch and then I'd be like completely happy with it. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll test it out when summer comes. She'll be about six months old when summer comes. I'm sure it'll be fine, um, but yeah, that was just, you know, on my wish list of things. I hope you found this video useful, and um, hopefully you just took away some pointers of what to look for when you're looking for your pram, um, or maybe you liked the Cairns Esco and you're gonna have a look for that. Um, yeah, subscribe and like this video for more videos like this, more content like this, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. <laughs>